Hello all, uh, welcome to Offensive Web Application Attack and Security and congratulations, you are embarking a journey to become a part of a global offensive hacker associates community. Earning an OS Offensive Web Attack and Security demonstrating to deep knowledge and hands-on experience with web application technologies and we are going to learn how to exploit the vulnerability in a proper manner. These certification include 32 modules and we will work on OS per zap and buff suite set up a lab for present testing. Successful completion of this course will help you to achieve a career goal and you will be able to apply those concepts in the real world. And passing OS certification it depends on mastery of OS domain and covered in the certification exam. And in this hacking episode we are going to learn about CTF and we are going to see like how to play with the CTF, okay, capture the flag program. So welcome on board and welcome to the CTF challenges. And let's begin. So now here, okay, you can see this is the link, okay, which I am using and I already shared, okay, this link uh, via mail. So you can use the red IP address and we are using that IP address for uh, penetrate testing and the goal of this particular lab is to identify the key. So if you just check it out here. So here you can see uh, these are uh, challenges. So let me zoom it. So to mark this exercise is completed, you need to submit the key and that you will get by finishing this exercise. So here is you can see the public URL is given to you. What you have to do is you can simple uh, go to the browser. So I'm using Google Chrome, but I will recommend you can go to Firefox. Okay. Or right now for this exercise, any browser is fine. And I need okay like a cloud machine. So I'm going to log in with AWS, AWS cloud services. And if you're not aware about AWS, you can go back and just watch the previous video, how to set up a lab, okay, in AWS. So I'm going to log into this my account. I'm going uh, to EC2 services, which is generally stand for virtual machines. And you can see in my cases is uh, there are two machines are running. And now I'm working on this machine. So you can see this is the public IP address, which is here. And to uh, perform a parent testing on this particular IP address, we need also public IP address. This is a requirement for this particular CTI. So my public IP address, okay, here you can see this is the public IP address, which is 18.216.201.190. And what I need is, okay, I need, okay, like the key and I'm going to log in, okay, to this machine, okay, using a SSH. Let me simple, okay, what I'm doing is I'm, okay, starting, okay, like my uh, Kali machine, okay, which is hosted, okay, in AWS. So I'm going to start my terminal. <coughs> So the key is in my download folder and I'm going to use SCP command which is here. Let me, what I can do is I can simply go here connect and then let me copy this one. And I'm going to paste here. And the problem is okay, like you're not allowed to log in okay to the root user. So I have to change uh, this root user to EC2 minus user. So this is the EC2 minus user and then enter. And after that, you can easily check okay, I have logged in okay to this my Kali machine, which is hosted in AWS. So let me check this is the IP address and this is my local IP address private. And here, okay, as I mentioned to you earlier, we need a public IP address. Okay, this is a requirement for this particular CTI. So what I have to do is I have to check like where okay this connection is going. 
so example you can see uh, i have a here okay like one pause parameter so where i had i can okay like easily i'll check the ip address so in my case Uh, this IP address I'm going to copy and I'll just copy and paste it here. I'll not submit okay this IP. What I can do is before submitting this IP, I can okay like sniff the traffic. So how to sniff the traffic? You can use a sudo command then tcp dump minus i eth zero. Then uh, you can use minus vb for verbose. And after that you can use UDP because DNS work on port number fifty three and press enter. So you can see it is listening and now I'm going to submit okay like this one so let's click here submit so once you click here submit you can see you'll get some like a message DNS this IP address and exit status one and here you can see that we have a like uh, logs we have recorded and this is talking to this IP address which is mitm1.pentesterlab.com so what I have to do is okay I have to tell okay like uh, this IP right is going to talk to this IP I will okay put my IP address so we will get a connection there so how to do that so in order to do this exercise okay we have to install couple of script so you can install using this uh, DNS mask minus Y in my case I have already done if you are not done you can use this command second part what we have to do is you can uh, use a configuration file you can use a sudo command and vi slash etc slash DNS mask dot configuration file let me go to this configuration file and here okay you have to add this parameter by the way so this parameter already will be there what you have to do is we simple remove the hash from this line and add this particular file dns mask dot host by default this file is not available in kali we have to create this file separately so we can create it now so what i can do is okay like uh, this is a command I have created already so you can use uh, VI editor to create this particular file DNS mask dot host okay so in my case I have already written though this is okay like is redirecting to the MITM one so what I said is okay you can just give me connection on this particular IP address which is 18.216.201.190 that's how you can configure this particular file now what I can do is I can show you okay this is the entry again so we'll get idea what actually I'm trying to say to you so you can see here okay like this is the entry which I have created now only thing is to get the connection okay we need some handler like listening connection so how to do that so for that okay we need okay like uh, nc command so this two file is ready from my side which is okay one file is called the dns mask.conf okay where we have add okay like uh, parameter logo is I am using okay the file name is DNS mask.host. Second part okay like we have is called the DNS mask.host, which is just now we had seen here. So this is the file okay we have made an entry. Now we will run this particular mask. So you can run using a sudo command sudo DNS mask configuration file with minus capital C, then configuration file located under this directory mask dot conf and minus minus no demon so this is the services we are starting and you press enter you can see it is working fine and after that okay like uh, we need a connection so if you need a connection then what you can do is you can simple open a new terminal so what I can do I will simple okay like split plan horizontally now cd download ls and after that I'm going to log in again okay to this EC2 means a cloud machine and once I log in you can see what I have to do is I have to start my handler which is minus P80 and you are done so you don't have a permission because we are not root so I have to use a sudo command and then nc uh, listening port 80 which is enter so now you can see we are ready now what we have to do is you can simple go to the chrome or any browser select the IP address which is here and now when you submit it and you can check okay you got the key and we got the message return so now if you go here you can see we got the key this key you can submit okay to our hacker associate website okay under submit button CTF challenges so this how okay you can uh, crack this CTF okay and uh, the important thing is you uh, have to understand what exactly is the DNS mask 
how to redirect the particular connection okay like from the particular uh, dns name to the particular ip addresses how to trigger okay like the configuration file and how to listen on okay, the particular port i hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching the video have a nice day